Okay, you guys know her as the co-host of MSNBC's Morning Joe and the author of several New York Times bestsellers. This morning, Mika Brzezinski is here to tell us about a really cool project that we wish we would have thought of. I know, it's such a good idea. A collaboration between Forbes magazine and Mika's Know Your Value initiative. It's called 50 Over 50, a curated list of extraordinary women mm. rewriting the rules of success by breaking through age and gender norms. Mika, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. We, What's so cool is they're 50, 60, 70, 80. Brilliant. They're amazing. You know what I loved about this when I saw it? I was like, you know, it's always those 30 under 30 yes. lists, uh, 40 under 40. And I know. you know what? Sometimes it's actually women of a certain age who are having trouble getting noticed, having trouble mm -hmm. getting back into the mm -hmm. workforce, who need to yeah. know their value, to Absolutely. point a phrase. Yeah. No, this actually, this was inspired by my book, Comeback Careers, where I took a focus on women over 50 to give them advice on relaunching their lives, mm -hmm. their careers. I mean, this is your story. Yeah. This is my story. And uh, realized that I was drawing on the experience from a lot of women right now yeah. who are reaching their highest success in their 60s, in their 70s and have no plans on stopping. Well, I think it's so cool because um, you got a ton of submissions. Like usually when you put something out, right. out there like this, you like you wonder how many people are gonna, are gonna volunteer or raise Right, their hands. right. What'd well, a couple of things. First of all, the folks at Forbes were blown away because their 30 under 30 list, which is very successful, yeah. their first go round with it got 1,000. Mm. This one got 10,000, mm. over 10,000. And here's something really cool. You know how sometimes women are like, oh, their age, they'll kind of put two years down. Yeah. Women lied up. Yeah. What do you oh, mean? On this wait, list. wait, what? Yes. Wait, 49 year old Like, we're like, on? sorry, you're not qualified. <laughs> you're going to have to wait. No, yeah. Maybe yeah. next year, I'm 49. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's so funny, right? I mean, that's also a really good sign. Yeah. It is. It is. And so, what were the criteria? Yeah. It was women who achieved their greatest success after the age of 50 or well after and were paying it forward. So if you're a really big deal and you're not on this list, chances are you reached your biggest success before 50. But we have women on this list in their 70s who are spreading mm -hmm. democracy. We have women on this list who are saving lives by making suitcases uh, that they send around the world to help deliver babies. And of course, uh, a woman who helped cr create the patent for the COVID vaccine. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> so, know, I just, you have raw. Brewer on there, Love her. who uh, I had the chance of interviewing, and you have <sighs> Kim Ang, who's the new GM yes. at, the, at the Marlins. And I was thinking a lot of women, when you reach a certain age, you do feel invisible. Yeah. You start to feel like people don't notice you, don't hear you. Was there like a common thread that you heard from these women so their so voices could be heard? Here's what is so inspiring for younger women. These women, first of all, uh, I don't know how it was for you all, but mm -hmm. I never imagined my career after 50. It was something yeah. I didn't plan for. I imagined and dreamed about 20, 30, 40. Yeah. None of these women, when I interviewed them, imagined their careers after 50. So for younger women, Start planning, start pacing yourself, spread it out, enjoy yourself, freeze right. your eggs, whatever you need to do to have a long, enjoyable, you don't have to cram it all into two decades. Right, don't rush it. The other common theme was a real presence, a real confidence. They did not feel counted out. They, they were totally there. And quite frankly, you got a sense talking to these women that if you got in their way, they would run you over. Oh. There was a real confidence, yeah. kind of like a, a sense of, well, it was presence, really. Well, COVID really affected the female workforce, mm -hmm. as we know. It did. Um, in, in any age group. But I'm, you talked to Kamala Harris, who mm -hmm. is, the, is your, your cover model here, <laughs> um, and certainly exemplifies what you're talking about. What did she have to say? Mm -hmm. Well, they're working on a lot of different initiatives. I mean, we're all still trying to get our arms around how exactly to help women get back, but the key is childcare. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, a lot of these women were just thrown back after, after everything they fought for. And that's why I love the concept of this, of paying it forward, because we're going to need to lift up mm -hmm. a lot of women who've been literally kicked out of the economy or kicked away from their dreams. But also, the wonderful, inspirational message of this list yeah. is that you've got a much longer runway than you ever imagined, you, cemented by these beautiful women. You talked about how these people, are, they're tough, they run you over. But I always <laughs> But not like think, in a mean way. Right, right. No, I get that. But I always <laughs> a gentle think, run over. A gentle like, run just over. don't get in my way, because I <laughs> But right I think here. you do think that women on top have to be super tough. Did mm. you find that I feel like kindness, 
matters. Absolutely. And did you feel like the women who, on your big board who made it had were so, able to? Yes. No. There's. A, the you're, you're you're nailing something perfect. And, and actually, Roz Brewer, I think you mm -hmm. talked to her about this being decisive, right? Yeah. But you can be kind and incredibly clear yeah. and decisive. Yeah. And by the way, nobody, uh, decisive is hot. Yeah. Nobody wants someone indecisive right. in charge. And so get over it. Yeah. But these women in, you know, in this generation over 50 probably remember the time yeah. when yeah. to be successful in business, to be, to have a yes. successful career, you kind of had to act like a man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> From how you dressed to yeah. the way you conducted yourself. Right. These women are powerful women as women. Mm -hmm. Yes, but they had two qualities that I have noticed in men hmm. that I think is actually really, really powerful. Um, and, and in men, it's more exaggerated. They forget everything. So, you yeah. know, men forget everything. Right. So, uh, but as a result, they can press reset in any relationship. They get fired, they have a bad meeting, they have a fight with someone, they don't remember it. Yeah. They move forward. And mm -hmm. I find that women over 50, we remember things, but we can compartmentalize better. We have a confidence about it and right. we're able to forget a little better and press reset. Mm -hmm. And there's also a confidence that does not exist in younger women. And it is a freedom mm -hmm. that they have to do what they feel like they want to do and to reach their dreams and these women are having unbelievable impact. We had so many submissions and so many incredible mm -hmm. women that were coming out now with another list next month on impact. We oh. have to do three more because this list was well, so I incredible. have a uh, nominee here, a I woman know. who became the <laughs> host of the Today Show over 50 and adopted I... two girls over the age of 50. No pressure, Mika. Yes. No pressure. I could probably right connect you with her. I'm By the way, that would be so helpful. We have to have a cool dinner with all these people. I know. Oh, there's a big event in, oh. uh, in September. Oh. We're going to have all these women and okay. but there are more lists to come this yeah, has cool. become an annual thing cool. and uh, I think the message is powerful for younger women long runway all it's right for younger thank women, you, it's for older women too yeah. it is a great idea yeah you, thank you yeah you can read more of the 50 over 50 list on our website today.com